So okay guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, I'm in my same clothes uh, from not the Ratchet, I guess from the Ratchet Strap video because I am just booming with the videos. I want to get some videos up for you guys because I am relatively free right now before the holiday season and I just do some holiday stuff. So guys, uh, today's video is all gonna be about five things you can make from your strip of wood. By strip of wood, I mean disc type. Yep, guys, this is the type of wood I'm talking about. It's like some thin, I'm not sure what that's called. It's not plywood, because it's like wood. Look at that, guys. It is four millimeter, millimeters thick. It comes in different arrays of size, from like two to like maybe eight or ten millimeters, which is one centimeter, ten millimeters, I think. Yeah, usually it comes in a meter of length. I'm not sure how much left is this. But I'm gonna show you guys five things you can make and I've proven it by myself and built it by myself. So guys, let's get into it. So guys, the first one is actually this. A DIY watch hanger. Yep, I made this by myself. Basically, all you wanna do is cut a piece of wood with cutter. It's super easy to cut, not super, it's quite actually. Uh, make three legs and make one board over here and just glue them some nails. I legit just glue some nails And as you guys can see if you guys got a watch you can just hang it over here and Boom just like that And if it's like unbalanced and it's like tipping a bit you can just use you can just put a strap on top of it And it could be a rack as well. This is completely genius. Make sure you comment down below if you want me to make a DIY how to make this in depth so the second thing, object, thing or object is this, a DIY rack extension with wood. As you guys can see, I've painted it, but if you guys see down below, oh, let me turn it on, okay? This is still the same type of wood. So basically, all you guys want to do is get one of those pieces of wood and just cut it, so, and just cut it to... So you have a thin layer over here, which you can use for a dip, and the rest, you can use it as the bottom tray. And you use some of them for the sides. You can use two pieces of wood to make this, because according to the size you want, and make these handle strips, as you guys can see, and I help make some support with this thing. And then, if you guys can see over here, uh, these racks have like this bolt hole, and I just put a bolt through there from the wood and and I can put my spray cans you can put a lot of weight I've tested this full array with 600 millimeters millimeters milliliters of water bottle waters and it will stand up perfectly fine even with more pressure than that the third thing you want to make you can make sorry is actually let me find it here this is a like screwdriver screw or little bits when you're making DIY stuff to put on because this is fully enclosed and you cannot find a gap this is super strong I just made it with some wood basically you want to get one of these car toy thingies and take the frame off the plastic body and you just want to cut open on the roof with the heated cutter with the DIY letter hack that I showed you guys on a previous video and make like a tub with the wood and just insert it and just glue gun it. And I just put some additional support so it doesn't flex. And guys, I put some magnets and sandwich it between the two pieces of wood. So for instance this, I have this little bolt over here. And I can just put it there and if it even shakes, it's not good. Perfect. So far, there's been three stuff you can make. Let's get into the fourth one. It's actually right over here. This is it. This is my DIY. I actually made all of this by myself. Sort of hidden camera. I tried with some camouflage and just put a hole through it and use one of those little pocket cameras and just put the pocket camera. As you can see, you can just make this and slide another piece of wood. I just spray painted like some brown. I put some foil. I don't know why. I was being really creative. So as you guys can see, uh, there's two bolts and nuts. And as you can see, this is lifted, so this is adjustable. You can 
move this, just undo this, and you can move it, slide it to adjust to the camera size, and the lens will pop out of there. And you can just put this, throw this away. You can put another motif here. Uh, maybe you can put blue if you, I want to make it blend with this, uh, but the situation I was using, that was the perfect color to blend with. It worked perfectly. So, and maybe you can just put an audio clip and put it over here, or a mic maybe. And so that's it, that's the fourth, and let's get into the fifth and last one. So okay guys, coming up to the fifth thing you can make with some balsa wood, if I'm not mistaken, if it's called that. Don't mind, just wood, that pl flat piece of wood. This is a bit weird, but it's gonna be something that you guys might actually make. It's for your dog. Come with me. So what you can guys make is a cover because this for my dog usually this would just come out and block the road he would just move it so i made this cover basically i zipped it to this pillar make some connections and then just blocked it off over here the next thing you guys can make is a block on the sofa so as you guys can see my dog used to hide below the sofa so i just made a block and I put two bolts so it's removable. Basically the idea is you make two U pieces of wood and you connect them up with two bolts. Yep. That you have to actually make it on the side so you do not have to measure. Okay guys, this is actually the next day. I forgot to make the outro but here it is. That was the video that I edited was amazing. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, saw everything. The five things I did make and all I made it by myself to prove to you guys that the things I made are completely possible made by you guys. I only used basically cutter and maybe glue gun to glue and cut the wood. So that's it guys. This is all basically just limited by your imagination and creativity. Obviously the wood does has does has limits to its capabilities but it's pretty far away. And for you beginners that want to get into the DIY life and make things by yourself, this is a perfect material to start with. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.